leave a message in the sand. Poems about giraffes, bongos and other creatures with hooves. Written by Bibi de Montac, illustrated by Anna-Marie van Harlingen and translated by me, Laura Watkinson. The European Bison. You are the biggest land animal in Europe. You are the grandchild of the steppe bison who once lived with the giant deer and the mammoth. You are a gift once given to czars and kings in exchange for peace and other things. You are a rare big grazer. Nowadays, you live fenced in, in your barbed wire home. But in this book, we'll give you a gift, some space for you to roam in words and thoughts and a picture too, and two whole pages just for you. Not like your grandmas and grandpas who once used to schlep across the wide and endless steppe. The Pyrenean Ibex. Rest in peace. It is with great sorrow that the rangers of Odese in Monte Perdido National Park announced the passing of Celia, born 1997, died January the 6th, 2000. As a result of a tragic accident, a tree fell down and crushed her head. The last Pyrenean ibex, the Capra Pyrenaica, is now dead. There are no next of kin, no family to miss her, the last of her kind with no mate to kiss her. Celia had never even dated. Natural disasters, not enough food, exterminated. Let's have a moment of silence. Let's ring the bells of mourning. Let's commemorate our sad loss. Celia loved grass, herbs and moss. And finally, the Siberian musk deer. When the night turns off the light and darkness fills the skies, that's when the musk deer wakes and blinks its sleepy eyes. Flames flashing along its throat, starlight splashing over its coat. This little deer roams the tiger. Is it cute? Yeah, it's pretty cute with its two little vampire fangs. Vampire fangs? What are they for? To kill other deer? To fill them with fear? To give them a scare? To bite and to tear? No, no, no. To fight for the ladies. But it's not just about strength. There's something else as well. The male deer's powerful, musky smell. The musk stags wander the pitch dark land, their weapons always close at hand, while the ladies' nostrils twitch, feeling a most irresistible itch to sniff at the scent of soil, of moss and mud, of leaf and bark and sleeping bud, the smell of the day when it is done. A beating wing, the setting sun, a hint of pee, a hint of poo, the spring grass beaded with evening dew, the breeze through a sultry birch tree wood. It's a perfume that does a doe such good. Pure must straight from the gland of the smelliest male deer in the land. And while those macho men flash their fangs, the ladies all around them say, guys, just put your weapons away. Not interested, nope. What do we really want? What do you think? Always and forever, your delicious manly stink. Thank you.